Hello and welcome. Today we're actually going to be making an iron farm. So if you want to learn how to make those or you want to see if I make it correctly, uh, tune in. This will be the hardest part. Um, we do have enough villagers here, which is fantastic. But we need to get the materials necessary in order to actually do this. All right. Now, because of the fact that I am low on iron, I'm going to have to do this in as cheap of a way as possible, okay? So, what's going to happen is I'm going to actually implement a system that I've never done before, and it'll be, it'll be interesting, okay? I, I promise you, it'll be a good way to do a cheap iron farm, alright? I'm going to use cobble. And I'm going to use one hopper. That's it. So, if you want to learn how to do that, keep watching. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I need a lot of cobble. Uh, this will be right here. Cool. Perfect. That's probably enough. Let's see. Yeah. A bunch of walls. We're good to go. Oh, um, I will need some stairs. But who cares about that for now? Oh, I'm gonna need a one hopper. One, two, three, four, five. Right. I think that's correct. I'm like five percent sure. Let's find out, guys. I think I'm correct. Uh, hopper should be just this recipe right here. Good. All right. I will need chests for that to go into. And then, obviously, when I have uh, stuff for uh, expanding, once I actually have enough... Oh, gosh. Ow. I hurt myself. All right, once I have enough um, thingamabobbers, and by thingamabobbers, I mean iron to actually expand the storage area, I'll probably make it so that it's like three double chests deep. That way it'll never like fully fill up, you know? It'll be good. Anyways, uh, so I think I have everything I'll need. The only other thing is like extra water, and I'll probably just make my way down. To get that each time because I have one bucket and I'm not going to I'm not going to waste uh, iron on making more buckets just because I'm lazy. OK, so the first step is to pick a spot, any spot. All right. Uh, for this, I'm literally just going to pick. Well, OK, I could pick right here and it'll be temporary. OK. Here we go. All right. So I need two chests. Here we go. And I need a hopper. OK. Now, this is a three by three area. OK. Normally, you would be like, oh, wow, how is that going to be helpful? Right. It, it, it's not going to be helpful at all. What's wrong with this guy? Well, I kind of know what I'm doing, right? Trust in me, at least a little bit. All right, guys? Oh, gosh. Okay, trust in me a little more than I deserve. <laughs> okay. Bum -ba -da -ba -bum. So, the way this works, all right? is you take water and you we're making the killing chamber right now you take the water and you place it in this corner right here okay so the water pushes any iron golem that falls down here into this corner but then you ask well how's how are they going to die well that's going to require that one last piece of lava over there okay i'm going to take that lava I'm going to put it in a little area here that is uh, built up with 
Oh, what's it called? Uh, science. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot I needed those. Oh, come on there. There we go. Alright. I needed signs. Boop. Alright. I'm not sure I actually got enough walls, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Oh gosh. Um, do 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 do. I should put this here. Yeah. This here. Oh gosh. And then that there, right? So if if this were lava, right? No. If this were lava, oh my goodness. All right, if this were lava, no, dang it. Why? Why does this happen to me? Okay. So, if this were lava, all right, it would just be right there, right? Cool. Glad we sorted that out. I'm going to sleep. Call that good. The killing chamber doesn't really have to be much taller than this. Alright? That's the thing. Alright? So this lava... This... What will be lava... When the iron golems get here, they're taller than I am. So they'll be like right here. And they'll be like... Uh, obviously that block's not going to be there. Uh, and then they'll die. And then everything will go into this hopper. And into this chest, right there. Because you just, boop, and it's into the chest. Cool. I'm glad we figured that out. I'm glad I could explain it. But how do we get them down here? Well, that's the first indication. I said down here. Because they're going to be coming from above. Yeah. How? I may not be the most graceful Minecrafter. But I get the job done eventually. Okay. Um. Yeah, you know what? There we go. See, all of that went into this. Or not. Huh. Maybe I should replace all of this base one with blocks. I think that'll be the actually winning move here. All right, let's replace those with blocks, see what happens. Dude, dude, dude. Oh my gosh. Whatever. Okay. So. Yeah, okay. Things go into there. Great. Fantastic. I prefer to have every single one of those blocks be a hopper. However, <clears throat> we're running low on iron. So we're only going to have one hopper. And it'll be just fine. If you, this will probably have a little bit of waste going into these side areas. If you ever want to reduce that waste, uh, replace those blocks that I just placed down with hoppers as well, feeding back into the system. Like, it just requires more hoppers, and then you won't waste. And you can afford more hoppers after you get this running for a little bit on the reduced quality side, okay? Now, this needs to fall quite a bit. How much? I don't remember, but let's say, you know what, let's say 17, I guess, or technically 
20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 15. Why am I counting? It's literally just go until we're done. Alright? <laughs> it was... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, this will be... Uh, a block... Uh, this is actually going to be like a step, I think, going out. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, we got these three blocks here. They're fantastic, but they're not exactly what we needed. Oh, you know what? That's exactly what we needed. Scaffolding. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm just going to... There we go. We make good choices. All right. There we go. We make good choices. I was thinking of jumping over there. I was like, nah. All right, let's get some scaffolding so that I don't kill myself. All right. Oh, that's the sound of a baby villager. Okay, scaffolding here? No, okay. We go down, we find it, we keep going. Is there scaffolding in the special bin? No. Is there scaffolding in another? Is there scaffolding in here? Is there scaffolding in here? I don't know. What about the wood? You know, I would expect it in the wood. How about this one? No. No. Oh, it's a tool! You're right, it's a tool. Okay. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. You know, I think I've gone about this a little bit backwards. Because normally the killing chamber is the very last thing. And I understand why that is now. Like, I understand why people make the killing chamber the very last thing. Uh, it's because that makes it easier. But who said I was here for easy, right? Okay, well, you know what, you know what, here, yeah, I don't care. Can I, no, oh gosh, can I place that there, I can. Cool. All right, perfect. Um, yeah. So that was a thing. I'm just, I'm just gonna get rid of that. And then we're gonna, we're gonna build this this way. Okay. This needs to be here. No, this needs to be here. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Cool. Okay. Zombie goes here. Villagers are there. We need stuff around here to be the walls. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna build this all the way around. Because why not? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. This one will leave alive. Okay. Well, undone. Not alive, but undone. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Alright, so let me explain this concept real quick, okay? I'm going to need three beds. There's going to be a bed here. There's going to be a bed there. There's going to be a bed there. Okay. This block doesn't actually have to be here. Neither does that one or that one. There's going to be a zombie right here, however. Who can't get through at all. This block. Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. Cool. 
This is kind of how it's going to be, okay? Zombies there, villagers in these spots here, okay? They're scared to death. They try to... Uh, they can occasionally sleep. But really, they are trying to uh, just survive. And so when they see the zombie, they're just like, Guys, there's a zombie. We need to work together and summon our big bro. And they're just like, Summon the golem. And the golem's just like, I'm here. And I abuse that system to get the golem into a place that I want it to be. And it turns into iron. Okay, so now that I have this all set up, what I need is, uh, I need three beds, three villagers, and a zombie, and some water, and a name tag. Okay. And I need to set up this scaffolding somewhere else, because it's just not going to be good. Oh wow, that took less than five minutes. Okay. Oh, come on. I wonder if any actually fell into the water system. If it did, that's going to be funny. Ah, darn. Well, then again, I... Hmm? Double checking? Nope, darn. Oh, well. Anyways. So. Uh... Yeah, I guess... I guess that'll do. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Look at that. See, this is perfect. <laughs> Alright, now all I need is a way to... Uh, Get villagers into here, and a zombie into here, okay? Now, typically, the way I do that is I do a staircase, all right? I do a staircase going down, which will probably be my best bet. But a staircase from where? Probably just straight this way, honestly. Um, all right. I'm going to guess on where I should start this uh thing with bubber, okay? Here's the thing. I don't need the I don't need the zombie just yet. So I can sleep through tonight, but I'll have to get it tomorrow night, okay? All right. So I have to guess on where I start with this staircase and That'll do. Okay. Alright, here we go. Getting the zombie up here, super easy. Getting the villagers up here, less easy. Okay, I guessed wrong. Alright. by quite a bit. So we're just gonna adjust. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Okay, I can get them up this whole stairwell, all right, and then into these slots. Zombie, super easy. Villagers, they require uh, incentive to come up the stairs, and so I have to give them a reason to actually try and go up. So it's going to require either A, I minecart them all the way up here, Right? That would be the easiest, but it would also be the most expensive. Alright? And we're trying to do this at a low cost. So, to do low cost, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get them up there without having to use a bunch of rail systems. All right. Yes, I'll use a rail system, get them out of there, and it'll probably drop them like right here. OK, it's not going to be any additional cost to what I already have because I have the rails already made for my other project. It's just to get them out of the breeder. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, I don't have them. I'm going to use uh, special blocks that the villagers like to call their workstations. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to have to use that name tag. Okay. There's no name tag here. Workstations. Fantastic. Great. But where's the name tag? No name tag here. No, no. What happened to it? Oh, there it is. You know what? That makes sense. That makes so much. I should have thought for more than two seconds. Okay. <laughs> Where is an anvil? Oh my gosh. So, I didn't think. I haven't thought this entire... Do I not have an anvil? Oh my gosh. I don't have an anvil. Guys, this is devastating. Come on. How do I not have an anvil? What kind of... What kind of person am I? I thought I had it all figured out. Oh, wait, there's my anvil. Well, you know what? That iron need to be smelted anyways. Okay. Uh, money maker. That's going to be the name of our zombie. All right. That's for the zombie. Now I just need to transport three villagers to an area where... Oh, I need the beds. Oh, I can't forget the beds. I need three. Three total beds. And I should probably place those in before they even get there. Because otherwise it'll be very difficult. Okay, fine. I'm in a rush of time. I'm going to make pink beds. There we go. There we go. There we go. Truly pink beds, okay? Red wood pink wool, the works. All right. So these beds need to have their heads facing away from the zombie, and they need to be as far to the other side as possible. I'm also going to have to light this area up so that other things don't spawn in here and kill the villagers. All right. So this goes here, and this goes here. This goes here, and that goes there. And so does this, and so does that. All right, cool. Now I need to start getting villagers up here. All right, let's get them. Let's get them over here. Oh, I don't have my bed on me. Come on. Hello, you two. How's it going? Having a good day so far? Hope you are. Yeah. Things going well? They kind of actually responded. <laughs> Alright, well I'm gonna I'm gonna abduct your kids now. Bye bye. Hello, children. And other children. Wow, that's a lot of villagers. Okay. I have one in here, right? Okay, perfect. All that matters is that I have one. Here we go. I'm just picking this up to a certain point, and then we're just going to start laying it the other way. Wait, here we go. Yeah. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, doot.
Cool. That'll actually be enough. All right. I just need to lead them up this stairwell. And you know what? I'm going to make this as easy for them as possible. We're going to make it double wide. That way, it's less likely that they fall off and more likely that I'm able to maneuver while placing this stuff down. All right. This is safety protocols, people. Safety protocols save lives. You know what? Yeah, there we go. Honestly, 10 out of 10. Here we go. Okay. This is solid. This this is how you get villagers up to a place. Okay. Let's press that button. A villager is going to come over here. All right. And I'm going to place this up here preemptively so that the villager is just like, oh, wow, a workstation. Okay. So we go like this. We say, oh, yeah. Go. And they're just like, okay. All right. Now the villager, see, they see that. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, you see this job? You see this job right here? Mm -hmm. Now you don't. You see that job right there? Now you don't. Boom, 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 boom. You see that job right there? Now you don't. No job for you. Okay. Get in there. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> One down. <laughs> Is it inhumane? Probably. Does it get the job done? Absolutely it does. <laughs> Alright. Next villager. Remember, I only needed one minecart because you could just reuse it every single time. Alright. You look at the job. You see the job? You see the job? Where are you going? Okay, good. I was worried for a moment. I was like, "Where? what are you doing? Where are you going, bud? No. Get back here. Do, 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 do. Where are you going? No, you have one job. No, stop it. <sighs> All right. I guess I have to go another night. <laughs> Respawn point. Ha! Are you kidding me right now? Come on. Stop fooling around. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with you? Alright. You see this job. And... Then you take the job. And then I take the job. And then you try to get this other job. Well, you're getting that job, I'm going to place that job, and then you're just like, no, I have a job, and I'm just like, you're unemployed, and then you're just like, ah, drat, you pulled that card, and I'm just like, yeah, I did, I pulled that card, you're unemployed, and then you're just like, not anymore, and I'm just like, too bad, and then you go, oh yeah, what about this, and I, you know what, I'm not going to mock you anymore, you went straight into a place, good for you. No more job, but good for you. All right. 
I was mocking this man left and right, and he just went, you know what? No, you got me all the way up here. I'm just going to go straight into my hole. Maybe not the hole that you wanted me in, but I pick my home. If I have to be up here, I'm going to pick this. Oh, wait. If I'm going to be up here, I'm going to have to pick the spot. Hello there, sir and or madam. Honestly, I can't tell the difference. Okay. I'm going to place the first three. Yeah, you see this job. You want this job. I'm going to eat some carrots. Oh, gosh. Maybe some cooked cod, too. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Uh-huh. You try to get this job. I say no. You try to get the next job. I say no. And you're just like, okay, what about this other job? And I say no. Welcome to the U.S. economy. No one gets any jobs. Especially you. Okay. Good. And then you just get pushed into the hole. See, it's as simple as that, guys. And now all I need to do is make a way for a zombie to try and fall into this, all right? It's simpler than you think, all right? All I have to do is make a trap door, open it up, and then have a walkway so that the zombie can't actually, like... Yeah. The zombie has to... I'm going to go over here. The zombie will have to walk over this, fall into the hole, and they'll be trapped. All right? So I have a little bit of time. I can make a trap door. I can get some water. I can put it down in the hole. It's going to be phenomenal. Okay. Right. The water is simply just extra precaution to keep protecting the zombie. Obviously, it's going to be fully covered, but... I want no chances of this zombie dying. None whatsoever. Okay. So I need trapdoor. Hello there, wood. We're going down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better dance. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I regret nothing. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Did I make this properly? What just happened? I heard someone die. Who died? No one's gonna talk? No one's gonna talk about who just died here? That's messed up, guys. Alright. So I did mess up this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have to shift the entire kill chamber. Just slightly. By slightly, I mean... Entirely to the left. Cool. Now there's no way that a zombie can get over this. Uh, but I'm going to make it so that... They won't get scared just yet. I don't, I don't want them spawning iron golems while I'm figuring all this out, okay? I don't need all that. I don't need the drama. Okay. So while that's getting figured out, I can actually fix this. Uh, and then we'll be good. Uh, you know what? I'll fix this starting with the giant wall going straight up into the air. Because why not, right? I might as well.
Okay. Um. Here we go. Perfect. And then we just go straight down. Oh my gosh, those pieces are going everywhere. Holy crap. Okay, so... Taking that. Grabbing all this. Boop, ba doop, ba doop. Awesome. Honestly, that's all the pieces that I wanted. Uh, and then I can tear all of this down. I don't need to tear down everything, but I do need to tear down mostly everything. Okay. I don't have to tear down this wall or this wall, but I do have to make a wall right here, which means everything past this point needs to be gone. Okay. That way I can actually adjust everything to where the kill chamber needs to be and we'll be good. We'll be set. So the kill chamber is just where all the iron golems fall to. It's just a matter of, uh, oh wait. That goes there. This does not. All this gets broken too. But yeah, the iron golems, they fall, they go into this chamber. I already explained all that. I think we're all solid on that understanding, right? We're good, cool, we're moving on. Chest goes here, this goes here. We say hi, I place this. I place these blocks right here. And we're good. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to start placing these. Oh my gosh. I did not tear down everything. Why? <laughs> okay. What the heck? You know what? I'm just going to leave that as my exit. I don't care at this point, honestly. Cool. We good. We Gucci. Did I say Gucci? I seriously said Gucci. Guys, I apologize. I should be better than that. I'm not the kind of person to say Gucci. Okay. This is the fall chamber. This is where things go to die. They fall straight down from there. If this is correct, then, oh, oh, no. Did I mess up again? No! No! Hey, guys. This is me. I messed up. There's a reason why people do this in the reverse order. It's because then they can use everything else as a reference. Oh my gosh, I can actually get a zombie. All right. Here, here, here. All right, cool. Yeah, we're just placing all of these. We're gonna place these across. We're gonna break this. Cool, yeah, awesome. You want them to fall into this? You know what? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with this. They fall here, and they get pushed over. More than I anticipated. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I need to go into here for placing things, but I also need a zombie. Alright, we're going to need a zombie. I have a water bucket up there. So it's literally just a matter of finding a zombie and then luring him over. Why do I have hiccups? Hey there, zombie. This was not too difficult. 
Yep. Okay. I'll name you after I get you into the thing, because if, if I name you and then you die on your way up, I will be very disappointed in mainly me. Okay. Good. Money maker. All right. Now that we've done that, I can actually sleep. Oh. Yeah, I can't really sleep. I have to go down here. Where the monsters aren't. The ground. There's supposed to be monsters here. Come on. Okay. Now that I have that up there, I can start kind of just tearing down this entire... Uh... Oh, hello there. See, this is why we set up this system exactly how we do. That way zombies can't get into here. Zombies can't do it. They can't get in. You guys are safe forever. You're welcome. Do I think that they'll thank me? Absolutely not. I took them from their friends and family. And they'll never be able to return. I'm just saying I deserve a little bit more credit for all that I've done. <laughs> I was just like, how the heck did a zombie get up here? <laughs> I confused myself for a moment. I was just like, huh. Oh. Okay. I need to go get some of the cobble that I already mined. Because it's going to take a lot of stuff for the next part of this project. And that is building our spawn area, okay? We have to build an area for the iron golems to spawn. Which is pretty simple. They're high enough in the air that they can't spawn on the ground. There's only going to be one spot for them to actually spawn. I'm going to need far more cobble than I already have. This is ridiculous. Come on. So this project takes a lot of blocks. All right. Cobble is just the easiest one to get. But if you need to make it out of dirt, you can make this out of dirt. If you need to make it out of wood, you can make this out of wood. I would not suggest it because it could get struck by lightning. But if you need to make this out of wood, you can, and then just build a roof over it. That way, even if lightning tries to strike that area, it hits the roof and not your precious little build. Okay? Cool. This is when we start building everything. And I mean everything that the uh, iron golem can spawn on. Okay. Ta da! These two blocks can go away, even though I'm probably actually going to place them back anyways. So, the cool thing is, this itself just acts as a template for how you should build this. Because you cover the entire area that you built with cobble. And then you just finish the rectangle. All right. You finish the rectangle and it's good to go. Do 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 do. Well, kind of. It requires a little bit more than just finishing the rectangle. You also have to build like a, a fall down area uh, so that this entire spawn 
area can be used. There's also more efficient uh, builds that um, get the iron golem out. There, there's a lot of mechanics that go on with the spawning of iron golems, okay? Enough that I'm probably not going to get into them. Uh... I probably won't need more than 16. All right. So, three in, cool. We build this all the way across. Oh, cool. Yeah, these three go to there. Perfect. All right. Now this area gets filled in. Do, 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 do. We're going to have to have walls all around as well. Um, and then we're going to light this up as well. So like uh, creepers and zombies don't spawn up here and then fight the iron golems and then blow things up. You know? We don't want that. So we're going to try and make it so that that just doesn't happen. We place this down. We have to build a fair amount of walls. Okay. These walls will go all the way around everything. And I mean all the way around everything. Okay. Do 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 do. Thankfully, this one that I placed down is only like these two are just placements so that I can get these walls going out. Yeah. And then this one goes all the way down. No. Come on. Yeah. This one comes all the way down. Why? Why does it have to rain? I don't know. You know what? There. Two, three. I'm gonna take one of these. Well, I have to I have to break both of them. But I'm gonna take one of them, and I'm gonna place place it there. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Okay. This water bucket. Place it here. Yeah. We're going to be placing three, but we need to make it so that they can't go past. Okay? <laughs> I'm missing one important thing, and that is one plank of wood. Just one. If I had one more spruce plank, I would have enough for three more signs, which would have been enough to make it so that the water wouldn't have flowed over. Okay. Do 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 do. I need one spruce plank. Is there one already here, or do I have to convert? There is one already here. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So this here, this. Right there, shablama. Now, I have one bucket of water, right? We're doing this in a way that saves as much iron as possible. I'm not going to make a second bucket of water. So, this requires a lot of water up here. I hope you realize that. Okay? It requires a lot of water. But, there's a cool thing that you can do. You can make an infinite water source... Without it actually having to be like this whole little well system, right? So this right here, it flows to there. It flows and it stops here, right? And all across, they will flow and stop to here. All I need is one more bucket of water, and then we'll have infinite water up there, okay? It'll be fantastic, trust me. This will be good. This will be great, even. 
Uh, the one thing that I haven't done is I haven't made it so that the zombie can be seen by the villagers. I'm going to have to go back and adjust that. But this is how you do it. You place them far enough away, and then you pick them from between. See, look. Now this goes here, and then they get dropped into this spot right here. Yep. 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 We're good to go. We grab water from the infinite water source. We place it there. Grab it again. Place it there. And we're good to go. This is everything we need. Kind of. I still need to light, like, light it up. So we're just going to put torch here. Uh, torch here. Torch here. And torch here. Now, this is not a perfect system, okay? It's not. By far, it's not. But it'll get the job done. Alright. It'll do what it needs to do. Things will die. You will get resources. Sometimes you will have to go in there. And fix things manually. Okay? Which one is the zombie? One, two... Wait, that's the wall one. So one, two, three, space, zombie, space. So that one. <laughs> cool. I don't have anything to kill them yet. But now I have a way to see the zombie and break these dirt blocks. Alright. We don't need it to be nighttime, so I'm going to sleep. There we go. By the way, beds actually reduce fall damage, if you didn't know that. I don't know by how much, but they do. It's nice. Okay, so, Iron Golem falls down, gets pushed, you know what, ooh, cobble, here we go, gonna pick all this up, and we're gonna break that, because why not, I'm gonna place the lava first, and then I'll place the uh, water, okay, so this, can just go right there. We're good to go. I need lava. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to find this piece of lava that was in the ground. Unsuspecting. Ta-da! Cool. I'm so glad I left two things of lava there, right? So this lava. Oh, no. Okay. It can't burn signs. So that lava's there. We're going to grab this. Where's the other walls? Oh my gosh, I ran out of walls. Okay. I just need one. Here we go. Okay. Well, I had to make six. There we go. Cool. Perfect. We're good to go. This is now fully functional. I can make it so that that zombie can see the villagers now. Once the villagers see the zombie and the zombie sees the villagers, this whole system starts up. And I just have to break all of these blocks. Cool. This is important. You do have to break your stairwell. Okay? If you ever need to fix this... See, look. There's an iron golem already. If you ever need to fix this... You need to use scaffolding to get up there. 
all right otherwise you're gonna have to tear down your pillar or whatever every single time and it's gonna be obnoxious all right you don't want that for yourself i'm telling you that now okay you don't want any place for iron golems to be able to spawn because if they do they'll spawn within the range of the villagers and they will prevent you from getting more iron golems but yeah that's how you make an iron golem farm this is fully functional next time i'm gonna probably make uh okay not not even probably next time i'll have to make a uh chunk loader and once i have a chunk loader i can adventure freely and these will still be running i'll still be producing villagers and the iron golems will still be uh produced Oh my gosh. See, look. I spent what? I spent five iron on this entire setup. I've already made back all the iron that I had, plus more. And the only difference is... Um, it's not like a super efficient one. So, oh gosh. I have hiccups. And burps. It's all over the place. It's a little gross. I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? It's part of it. Hey guys. Thank you. Thank you for your children. I've already made back enough iron to justify this. Here's another cool thing, okay? Because I have this, and because I have enough iron to justify doing whatever the heck I want, I can make a system to get rid of the poppies. Um. Wow. We're at like an hour. You know what? I'll show you the poppy system right now after I get enough wood for it. And then we're calling it good. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have one of these. I need enough wood for... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Okay, so here's what's happening, all right? All of this into chests, all right? Two of these are going to be hoppers. The rest are double chests, okay? So the way this works is we're making a bone meal farm now because we have an iron farm that also produces flowers, okay? You with me? Oh my gosh. So. That goes there. We take some of this iron. Oh my gosh. I really need to adjust this so that it's more efficient with picking up the iron. Because dang, we are missing out on a fair amount. Alright, anyways. We have a lot of iron. Place this here. Alright? Cool. And then... Com composter there hopper there two chests there now whenever I want to convert my poppies I can just go here and I'm just like hey poppies I don't need you anymore could this have been a little bit more elegant yes absolutely you can actually compress this down into like a three block system because this could be right here going in the composter could be in the it could be right there and then another hopper going in there and then the double chest right here right you you could bring it down to just that size i didn't care to do that i was in a hurry But yeah, uh, you know what? We need to take our thumbnail. Wait. <sighs> Ta-da! Okay. There we go. Iron farm. And then anyone seeing it will either be like, wow, an iron farm. Or they'll be like, what the heck is flying in the sky? And then they'll click on it, and then they'll be like, oh my gosh, we're learning how to make an iron farm today. And then they'll see every single one of my mess ups. And you know what? I'm fine with that. It's a process. We go through this together, guys. 
I will say, the more I do this, the more I will uh, I, I will replace every single one of these blocks with a hopper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I will do that. I don't care. But yeah. Anyways, hope you have fun. I had a good time. I'm going to stop it here because, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> it's a long episode. Oh, it's been a long weekend. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.